As smoke billows from this kitchen, one would be forgiven to think that a heavy meal is under preparation. This is Banan Dogu's kitchen, who we find in a bit of a rush to prepare lunch for him and his elderly wife. Ndogu is one amongst hundreds who reside in this colonial village of Njoguini Tetu, Nyeri County, who witnessed the Mau Mau struggle for independence as a young boy. He says they have sailed through promises from previous administrations that have promised to resettle them so that they can lead better lives, a dream he says is still alive to date, even as they struggle to fend for themselves and their offsprings. And we were expecting for something bigger, a bigger cake. Edward Mboto, a next door neighbor, faces a similar predicament. In his makeshift kitchen, I sit down as he narrates to me how life has been unbearable for the 20 years he has lived here. Sisi ndi tumekua kama watumo wa wakati uo. Kwa vile hatuna mahali tunesa fulaia. Hawazazi kutoka kule walikuwa meshikuwa mateka na wazungu kuruti makuawo. Wengi walikuta wana pale palikuwa pao pale nyakulio na wengi. Sasa tunaishi tukiwa na mashida kama hiyo. Hii wazazi wamekuja wameondoka. Wametuwaje hivyo. Tunaishi tukiangaika mabarabarani wapi. Hii ni nyumba kukomboa. Na wazazi ndi wala wikuwa napigana. Sasa unashindo hindi uteza kuwa maisha mazuri. A broken leg and his wife's manual jobs working in tea farms does not offer any solace for a better life to come. Hata hiyo shingi mia kwa mgini nakuwa shida sana. Kini tu ni kwa mungu tu anazaitia. Sina kuambia tunaweza kula siku moja. Ingine mbili tatu tunakaa hivu. Kukunyo tu tumaji. Kipata kukota ya uji ni hivu. Kumbuka uwe ingi wetu hata nilika karibu ya hiyo raisi. Na unawana ya maali yako anazakuwa nasikia mzui. Na hawa lika yake hamewacha nyuma na ndi wanatezeka. Na ndi uwe ingi na watoto yao. A few meters from his rental house is 83-year-old Mze Joseph Gikonyo's house. The house is host to seven people. He says he's yet to taste the fruits of the struggle he so valiantly participated in. Sio nini kitu gani na sakuzama ati hii ilitokana na vita ama umau. Hile ilipigani wano wa sasi wetu. Asha. The compound where his house sits is resident to 20 other houses. The land promise, a dream he says, even in his old age is yet to materialize. Nalima shaba, hile natoka ma, masawa ya kuuza, diyo tupate kitu ya kujikimu. Hakuna. And as Kenya celebrates 60 years since independence, their clarion call to the current regime is to ensure that land granted by the government gets to them or their children. Kuna watu wegi wanaabia watu mwongo, mwongo mtupu, mtupu, nilikuwa hapa, nilipanya hivi na hii. Watu wa upade, upade wa serikali. They did not suffer, but my mom's children had to suffer. Fula haye tulikuwa gani. Ilikuwa pata hiyo mashamba tujiendelesi hata sisi. Tuzike hiyo fula. Sasa uchungu ni kitu kama hiyo. Kama tukosa mashamba, uchungu ni atuma kwa vile sini masikini tunakaa tu hivyo paraparati. Maicha ni baya kabisa. Baka waleo. Maicha ni baya. Sio ati hiku na tafauti na na siku ya mkoron. Kama umwangike 24 from Jogwini Tetu Nyeri County.